Making someone happy is a very kind thing to do. But trying to keep them happy isn't always as easy as you think. There was one time where Percy tried to make Nia happy, and that caused quite a lot of problems. All aboard for a big adventure! It was the end of a busy day. Percy the small engine was making his last delivery of the day. He was delivering empty vans to Knapford Yards. Percy arrived at Knapford Yards right on time. He carefully stopped beside the water tower to have a quick drink. Then the fat controller arrived to see him. Well done Percy, you've arrived on time. You are a really useful engine. Thank you sir, I can now look forward to my rest. Oh, uh, before you do go Percy, I need you to help me out of a little job. Now sir, but it's late and I'm very tired sir. <laughs> oh, I don't mean right now Percy, I mean first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, alright then, I can do that. What's the job, sir? I will need you to give Nia a message. What message, sir? I have two very special jobs that need to be done tomorrow. I have a group of visitors that need to be collected from Wellsworth Station. They will be going to Ulfstead Castle. The other job is taking special deliveries of stone from the quarry to the seaside station at Lower Tidmouth. I will need you to tell Nia which jobs I've decided to give her tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. But isn't giving the jobs out your job, sir? <laughs> ah, yes, Percy. But I'll be going to Ulstead Castle with the visitors tomorrow. So that's why I need your help. I understand, sir. Leave it to me. I'll give Nia the message. Thank you, Percy. Now off you go to your sheds, please. Yes, sir. Good night, sir. Percy puffed happily back to the sheds. He was feeling very excited about the special jobs and was wondering which job would be given to him and Nia. He arrived at Tidmouth Sheds feeling very happy. Hello everyone! Hello, Hello Percy. Percy! You look very excited about something. I am Rebecca! I have a message for you, Nia. Oh, what message? The Fat Controller has two very special jobs he wants to give you and me tomorrow. One is taking stone deliveries to the seaside station at Slower Tidmouth Station. The other is taking very important visitors to Alstead Castle. Oh, wow, that is so exciting. I cannot wait to find out which job I'll be doing tomorrow. Huh? Why could the Fat Controller give that job of taking the visitors to more splendid engines like me? They would prefer it more. James, don't be so rude. The Fat Controller has his reasons, and I think Percy and Nia are just right for the jobs. Thank you, Emily. Just think, Nia, we will have very special jobs to do tomorrow. You know, I can just see you pulling the special visitors tomorrow. That would suit you perfectly. Oh. That would be so exciting! Pulling visitors would be so wonderful! <laughs> Come on, you two. You both need your energy for tomorrow. Oh, Emily's right. Good night, Percy. See you in the morning. Good night, Nia! Percy was feeling more excited about the special jobs, but secretly, he was hoping Nia would get the job of taking the visitors to Olkstead Castle. The next morning, Percy puffed happily to the yards to fill up on coal. Then he puffed into the station where the fat controller was waiting. Ah, there you are, Percy. Hello, sir. I'm here to collect the message. Very good. I've made my decision. You can tell Nia that she can collect the stone trucks from the quarry straight away. And you can go and collect the coaches from the yards and make your way to Ellsworth Station. Can you do that for me, Percy? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. Very good. I will see you at Wellsworth Station. 
See you there. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, no. This is not what I had wanted to hear. I was hoping Nia would get the job of pulling the visitors. Poor Nia. She will be very upset when I tell her the bad news. Nia, the Fat Controller has asked me to take the special visitors to Oxford Castle. He wants you to collect the stone trucks from the quarry. Oh, I'm sorry, Nia, but those are the Fat Controller's orders. No, Percy. It's alright. I shouldn't have got my hopes up. I'm so sorry, Nia. Percy, what's the matter with Nia? Nia has been chosen to collect the stone delivery instead of taking the important visitors. Oh dear. Poor Nia. She was looking forward to taking the visitors as well. I didn't mean to upset Nia. Percy? Did you upset Nia? Not on purpose, Emily. I was only telling her that I was taking... How could you, Percy? Nia is your friend. And now look at what you've done to her. Emily! It's not like that! I... I don't want to talk to you, Percy. Tell me what, Percy? Oh, hello, Nia. I've just seen the Fat Controller. Oh, yes. Has he made his decision yet? Yes, Nia. He has. Well? Oh, yes, right. The Fat Controller has decided that you can collect the important visitors. Oh. <gasps> Really, Percy? Yes, Nia. I am to collect the stone trucks from the quarry. You had better hurry, Nia. The coaches are waiting for you at the yards. Oh, yes. This is so exciting. I can see today is going to be a great day. Bye, Percy. Bye, Nia. I hope so. Hello, Rebecca. Guess what? Nia is taking the important visitors to Ofsted Castle! Oh, wow! Nia must be so excited about it! She is! She is on her way to collect her coaches right now! Well, I hope she has a good day. This will be a very special day for her. It will be, Rebecca. Hello, Percy. I see Nia is looking very happy. Yes, Emily! She's been chosen to collect the special visitors! Really? Yes! Now I had better go! The stone delivery must not be late! Bye, Emily! Er, wait a minute, Percy. Are you sure that's... Percy? Percy? I wonder what's up with him. After Nia collected her coaches, she set off happily to Wellsworth Station. She was so excited about her new job, she could feel her axles tingle. I cannot wait to see the visitors. I wonder what they'll be doing up at the castle. Hello, Henry. Henry. <gasps> Percy soon arrived at the quarry to collect the trucks of stone. As he puffed up to where the train was waiting, Mavis was shunting the last of them onto the train. Hello, Mavis! Oh, hello, Percy. What are you doing here? I'm to collect the stone delivery and take it to the seaside station! Really? I thought Nia was taking this train. Don't be silly, Mavis. Nia is taking visitors up to Austin Castle today. Really? Well... Come on, Mavis. Come with me up to the trucks, please. And then I can be on my way. All right, Percy. If you say so. Bye, Mavis. I'll be back for the next delivery soon. Bye, Percy. 
Hmm. Something's not right. Percy made his way along the main line with his first stumble over. He was pleased to be going to the seaside station. Just then, he saw Rebecca coming the other way with her goods train. Hello, Rebecca! Hello, Percy. There's a lot of stone you have there. Thanks, Rebecca. I hope Nia is all right. Nia was trundling along nicely with her coaches. She soon arrived at Wellsworth Station and saw the fat controller with the visitors standing on the platform. Ah, uh, this must be the end of us taking us there. That's right. We'll all be travelling with... Mia? Mia! What are you doing here? I'm taking the visitors to Offstate Castle, sir. Why are you pulling this train? Where's Percy? Percy? Uh, he's collecting the stone from the quarry, so... Is something wrong? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I just need to sort out a little mix-up, that's all. <laughs> Nia, shunt those coaches into a siding, please. I need to have a word with Percy. Sir? Take me to Percy at once! Please! Yes, sir. Percy! What have you done? Meanwhile, Percy had arrived at Lower Titmouth Station with his trucks of stone. As he arrived, he saw Duck on the other line with some empty trucks. He was surprised to see Percy. Hello, Duck! Percy! What are you doing here? I'm bringing the stone down from the quarry. But that's Nia's job. What do you mean? The fat controller told me that Nia was to bring the stone trucks down to the station and then I was to give her these empty trucks to take back to the quarry. What? Percy, where's Nia? Uh, uh, I had better go, Duck. I have another job to do. See you later. Percy! Percy! Where's Nia? Oh no. Percy was racing up the line as fast as he could. He couldn't believe what Duck had said to him. I cannot believe Duck knew about a new special job. I need to get back to the yards and fast! Oh, hello, Percy. Percy? Percy? Percy saw a signal box in a siding nearby. He quickly changed tracks and ran behind the signal box. Emily and Rebecca were not far behind. Percy? Percy? Where are you? There he is! Percy, what are you doing hiding here? I... I was... Uh... What's the matter, Percy? Have you done something wrong? <coughs> Percy! Oh! Whoopsie! Oops! Sorry, Rebecca! Percy, watch out! Oops! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Percy! 
devil are you playing at? Why did Neo arrive at Wellsworth with your coaches? And why did I hear that you delivered Nia's first load of stone to the seaside station? Percy, what have you done? We can't help you if you don't tell us, Percy. Percy, what's wrong? Oh, all oh, right! I switched mine and Nia's jobs around! What? You did what? I gave Nia my job, and I did the job that Nia was supposed to do. Percy, what were you thinking? I'm sorry, sir. I was worried about telling Nia that I was going to be pulling the special visitors instead of her. So, I told Nia that she was going to be pulling the visitors to Offset Castle. Percy, did you not think there was a reason why I made the decisions I made? I chose you to pull the special visitors because I wanted to reward you for all the hard work you had been doing. Not just with the post train, but with the branch line as well. I gave Nia the job of pulling the stone deliveries because I thought a trip to the seaside would be a nice change for her. You can't go changing jobs around just because you didn't get the job you wanted. I'm very sorry, sir. I was scared about upsetting Nia. I was hoping she would be chosen to take the visitors. But when you told me that I was to do that job, I was worried that Nia was going to be upset. So, I was trying to keep Nia happy by saying she was going to Oxley Castle. Oh, Percy. You should never say things that you think someone else will want to hear. That is not a good idea. All it will do is cause a lot of problems. He's right. Look at all the trouble you've caused. We understand you were thinking of Nina, but you shouldn't have switched the jobs around like that. You should have told me the truth about all of this in the first place. I wouldn't have minded what job I was given. But because of you, we are both late for our special jobs. I'm very sorry, Nia. Really, I am. Well, now we need to put things right. Nia, go straight to the seaside station, please, and collect the empty trucks from Duck. Yes, sir. Percy, take me straight to Wellsworth Station. We are late for Ulstead Castle. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Don't you two have work to do? Oh, oh uh, yes, sir. Sorry, Sorry, sir. I'll be out of your way in a second. Soon, Nia had collected the empty trucks from Duck and was on her way back to the quarry. Nia was now feeling very disappointed with her day, but she was still surprised what Percy had done. Percy collected the visitors and was racing as fast as he could to Alston Castle. The Earl was waiting for them on the platform, and so was Millie. Percy! There you are! Where have you been? I'm sorry, sir. I was... You see, I... Um... Uh... It's all been sorted, Sir Robert. We're here now, and hopefully we can make up for lost time. Oh, good. Welcome to my very special guests. Climb aboard, please, and we can make our way towards the castle. For sure, Percy. What's the matter? You look very upset. Percy told Millie the whole story about the special jobs and about how he was trying to keep Nia happy. Millie listened carefully. Oh, Percy, you shouldn't say things that people want to hear. That's not a good idea. I know, Millie. I was just scared about upsetting Nia by telling her she was going to pull the stone trucks. You already have upset Nia by causing all this trouble. You really should have been honest with her in the first place this morning. I didn't mean to upset her, Millie. I was just trying to keep her happy. I think you and Nia need to have a talk. You both need to sort things out between you, both of you. I understand you were trying to make Nia happy, but you must remember that honesty is the best policy. All right, Millie. We're ready to go. Vivi, sir. <laughs> Bye, Percy. And they never 
remember what I said. Sorry, Billy, but thank you. Percy watched Millie puff away with the special visitors. He thought about what Millie had said to him. Percy was feeling more and more guilty with himself. That evening, as the sun was setting, Percy was puffing sadly home back to the sheds. He was trying to think about how he could say sorry to Nia. He knew this mess was all his fault. I really do hope I can put things right with Nia. Then, Percy saw Nia up ahead on the same line as him. Nia had stopped right in the middle of the line. She was looking sad. Percy stopped behind her. Hello, Nia. What are you doing standing in the middle of the main line? I've run out of water, Percy. All those long journeys from the quarry to the seaside made me use a lot of water. Now I'm stuck. Percy felt more sorry for Nia than he did earlier. He decided to help Nia out the right way. Don't worry, Nia. I'll help you to the water tower. Percy was coupled up to Nia and he began to push. Nia was grateful for Percy's help, but she was still feeling upset. Percy took a deep breath. Nia, I'm very sorry I caused us a lot of trouble today. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you what your proper job was. I was really hoping that you would get the job of taking the special visitors today, and not me. When the badge controller told me you were to take the stone deliveries, I was feeling very upset about that. Why would that upset you? I was scared of telling you that I was taking the visitors to Ofsted Castle. I thought you wanted to take the visitors more than the stone trucks. I thought you wanted me to say you were taking the visitors. Because I thought you wanted me to say that. Oh, Percy. You should never say things that you think people want to hear. The truth is, I wouldn't have minded what special job I would be given. If you had been honest with me in the first place, then you wouldn't have gotten yourself into a lot of trouble. I didn't mean to upset you, Nia. Really, I didn't. I was scared about upsetting you. I didn't want to upset you because you're my friend. And I wanted you to feel special. Maybe a bit more than me. Percy, is that why you gave me your job? Yes, Nia. I wanted you to be the special engine today. Then you could have the best day ever. And you could be proud of your very special job. Percy, you and I are very special engines. But you don't need a very special job to be special. Everyone is special in their own way. I'm always happy to do whatever jobs the Fat Controller gives me. But in future, Percy, please don't switch special jobs around like that again. I won't, Nia. I also promise not to say things that people will want to hear ever again. Can we be friends again, please? Oh, Percy, of course we can. Thank you for helping me back to the shed. Thank you, Nia. And I'm happy to help you out in any way I can. Well, at least I try to. <laughs> <laughs> the two engines laughed and Percy and Nia smiled happily together all the way home. Trying to make someone happy is a kind thing to do, but sometimes trying to keep them happy is a completely different thing. Mrs. Kindly was sad when her sister couldn't come round to stay with her, so the Fat Controller gave her a special tour of the island, and then James took her to open a new fun fair that was at Mayfway Station. That cheered Mrs. Kindly up. Percy tried to make Nia happy by giving her his special job. But things went wrong when the bat controller and duck caught them out. Percy was scared and tried to hide from Nia, but he soon realised that giving Nia his job wasn't the right thing to do to make her happy. 
The right way to make your friends happy is to tell them the truth. Even if it's not what you want to do, it's always important to be honest. Because it's true what they say. Honesty is the best policy. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go! See you next time! <laughs>